folks, uh, we're back in the hood. And you'd be forgiven to thinking that we're in uh, Saint Denis or Bobigny or some other uh, <laughs> French Parisian suburb. Uh, pretty much everyone out and about today, tourist wise, is French. Huge groups already, and it's very early. And it's not even sunny. I mean, it's actually not a nice day today. So it's kind of surprising on the whole that so many people out and about. Uh, the back playground is really, really, really busy. Um, I know we're still kind of in that secondary week of the Easter holidays. Uh, British school kids have barely started their Easter holidays, to be honest. They've got another week and a half left, plus. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty busy here over the course of the next 10 days. Now, luckily, me being very foolish and trying to make false economies, oh, horsey slipped. Uh, luckily, folks, uh, I might need to postpone my trip for a day or two. I'm still thinking about it. False economies, not booking business class. That's the false economy. Why? Because it's very easy to think, you know what? It's super cheap. Let's go for standard tickets. Bargain, £250 return for two people, uh, as opposed to two business class returns which would have cost £1,300 for two people uh, but yeah I'm still debating folks looking at the weather movements in France and Paris is a nightmare when it's wet far more intolerable than London I'm hoping that massive uh, bag on the floor over there belongs to the guy that's taking the picture because if not it looks very odd let's see if he, uh, if he removes it Police are back to full strength, got five officers in, this, in the courtyard, and I think another one or two at the end of the tunnel. If he walks off and that bag is left there, Jack, pick it up, come on please. A hold all of all things with the luggage label. Yep, that does not remotely look suspicious. Am I right folks, or not? He's decided that as no one else has claimed it, he wants it, and he's off. Look at that. It's full of gold bars, folks. You saw how heavy it was when he tried to pick it up. Uh, Horse-wise, I haven't even bothered to look yet. Why? Because the lifeguards are about to leave. Uh, the first group of troopers already went out through the tunnel to the back, which means that any moment, and I'll be there for it, folks, don't you worry, any moment the blues are going to come through. First group of blues will come through the tunnel. And... Uh, it's kind of good. Yeah, don't worry about the camera. It's kind of good. One day I'm gonna say that to somebody. <laughs> and they're gonna get in my face, but hey, when that day comes, I'll deal with it then. Carpe diem, folks. <clears throat> oh, oh. Uh-oh. She tried to slide under the camera and fell on the floor. Oops, never mind. I appreciate the uh, the effort. I'm suspecting everybody that we've got Orion. You know what, I'm not even gonna look at the hoof. However, one of you viewers, one of you lovely viewers, said to me, can you please try and include the entire horse in the frame? I do try and do that when it's possible to get far enough back. To be able to do this, the whole horse down to the hoofs in the frame, means that I need to be way back behind the bollards. That on a busy day is impossible because then you get hundreds of people in front of you. So it's not always quite as straightforward as being able to stand there uh, and pan to get the entire horse in the frame. Oh, a luminous bro has arrived. He's going to uh, a gnome convention, guys. There is a, a gnome convention in central London today. Whoever is dressed the most like a gnome gets a prize. And that prize is free entry to Kew Gardens with gnome VIP status for one year. How's about that? Also noticing, actually, in the yard, a lot of familiar faces back. A lot of happy and familiar faces among the officers that are on duty today. Brilliant thing to see, finally. Brilliant, brilliant to see. So, in fact, out of the six officers we've got here today, four are very familiar faces. Why is that good? Because it means that they know how the place works in or out, and more importantly, they have no problem dealing with idiots. So one, two, three, four in the tunnel, and three behind me, seven officers, back to full strength, everybody. Yep, whole seven, big team of seven. Hey, morning. I'm very tempted to go to the corner, but... <laughs> I didn't know what the bloody crowd go through here. 
yeah. in a few minutes. It's funny, I got to Trafalgar Square, and I know this is about, I don't know, 500,000 French students, and they all came along horse yeah. guards and flooded through the tunnel. I've been trying to get to five minutes, I've been trying to get to Yeah, I'm just yeah. supposed to go to Paris in a couple of days. I'm thinking, you know, there's no point now Paris just came to yeah. me. Wow. Yeah, that's down to those short guard. Is it? Yeah. Ah, that is a pity. At least they're just arriving now, actually. Yeah. Yep, they're just pulling up. Guys, the Blues are pulling up in their uh, Ferrari h cav horses. Look at this. Um, I know a lot of you are going to ask me, did they fix the spelling mistake on the sign? And the good news is, they didn't. But then you're wondering, why is that good news? Well, folks, because it gives us something to look forward to. Here comes another group of Frenchies. They're like, merde putain! In London, the weather is wetter than in Paris. And you know what? For the moment, it's true. End of this week, there are going to be a couple of baking hot days in Paris this Saturday. It's going to be 25 degrees, people. Can you imagine? And I'm going to be here at Horse Guards in the flipping cold. I'm gutted. But it doesn't matter. Why? Because I'm going soon, that's why. I'm just thinking, actually, considering that they've got so many officers here, I wonder whether or not they would let us go to the other corner. And again, looking at that corner and the light over towards where I am, no, this, this is the best spot to catch Ormond's face, should, by some absolute miracle, uh, he decide to grace us with his presence. I mean, to be fair, he was quite well behaved last time he was on duty, but like Orion, when I was here last, uh, Monday, yeah, the horses misbehave a little bit, uh, they're taken off, given some, you know, R&R, &R, often sent up to uh, Melton, uh, or sometimes just not put on ceremonial. So there's, there's no way of knowing, guys, is what I'm trying to say, whether or not we will see Ormond back today or indeed Orion back for this coming weekend. Okay, any minute, we should get the bing bong and the blue should be coming through the tunnel. In fact, they're actually running late. Would you believe that, guys? The blues and royals are actually running late. They are two minutes late. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah, I was just looking, in fact, Googling how to complain if the guards are late. Uh, and I found one Google result and it just says, don't bother. The guards keep their own time, royal time. The King's Mounted Bodyguard. Hold on a second, what's this sign over here on the right? I'll have a look at it in a minute. Number one. Oh, very familiar face is number two. Number three, super familiar face. Number four, even more familiar face. And number five, crazily familiar face. Look at this. And that giant coffee monster at the back. Ah, I don't remember. Right, all the Frenchies are flooding back, guys. It's almost, it's almost like being in Calais. It is. Anyway, what does that sign say? It says the King's Mounted Bodyguard. Wait, the King. Actually, you know, we're going to have to get there a bit later. <laughs> Too many people coming through the tunnel. Right, it's about the museum. It's a new signboard that they've put out here. The King's Mounted Bodyguard visit London's Living Museum, it says. OK, well, let's ignore the Frenchies and go back to the front for a minute. We're not going to have much time between now and when the lifeguard boxmen leave. Maybe, I don't know, three, four, five minutes, I would think, depending on how quickly the Blues can get themselves ready. Yep, just, uh, just stand around in the, <laughs> in the entrance and chill. <laughs> Don't about the zillion people behind me. Oh, my goodness, it's busy. Right, we are back at the hunt. <laughs> Puffer jacket world. I almost feel like I'm in the Arctic store in Piccadilly. That's great, I should be there. Now, for some curious reason, uh, yeah, I am. Let's, uh, let's make our way through here, guys. Again, hands on phones and wallets in this area. Alone, everybody, today. There's no one else here yet. Recording, streaming, having fun, documenting the life of the King's lifeguard. But that will change. I guarantee that will change. There'll probably be a half a dozen of us here within the next hour. To be honest, when I woke up this morning and looked out the window, I did kind of think to myself, Argh. it was a bit wet, a bit sloshy. Oh, 
That's a lovely dress. <laughs> uh, I don't. I really don't understand why some people run away. They run over, get the picture, and then run away. It's almost like their phone is set uh, to explode. Oh, someone else has got a little toy. What's that toy? It's like a little uh, a fuzzy trooper. It's a trooper toy, a British soldier toy. Funny how many people bring along um, household division toys and uh, and hold them up in front of the king's lifeguard. I mean, they are part of the household division. They're the mounted part of the household division. Uh, but they, of course, don't wear the bearskins, so it doesn't quite work. I think a lot of Tories do actually believe that these guards also wear the, the bearskins. However, they don't. Ever, that is, by the way. As you can note as well, guys, we're still in winter order. Will that change? It will change. When will it change? Ah, there was speculation that on the first Monday, it not being a holiday of April, we see the guards move from winter order to summer order. Okay, That would mean, strictly speaking, that next Monday will be the first day of summer order. However, don't quote me. What I'm trying to say is that no one actually knows. That's the truth. Yeah. It's a little bit annoying, a little bit unfortunate, but no one actually knows yet, I think, when they're going to change over. I'm not sure of the troopers even, though. I think it will be a decision taken at corporal force level or above, realistically probably above, at the last minute. Maybe they're just waiting for your first signs of, you know, warmth, because it is a bit chilly, people. We're still around the 10 and 11 degrees mark, which for the beginning of April uh, is unseasonably on the chilly side. Yeah. Great number of people here actually this morning. And it's very surprising they've got this many officers in the yard, yet there's no long guard. As you heard, the gent that's often here knows a lot about uh, the trooper movements in central London. He was surprised himself, and he's very rarely called out. I think most of us were expecting long guard this morning, myself included. So that all is well at the palace, and, uh, and there'll be a long guard tomorrow. <laughs> Sadly, I likely will not be here tomorrow. Even there is a long guard. Uh, Horsewise, guys, we spotted Orion at the other end immediately. Didn't even need to look at the list. And would you believe me getting finally a little bit smart with the horsey IDs, but it won't last when the blues arrive. We're looking at uh, Trinity. Yeah. Happy Trinity. It was a bit cheeky and a bit nippy, actually. Orion today. Oh, hold on. I've just noticed. I just. Had to be, didn't it, when I wasn't there. I was going to say, Orion today is not being nippy, but he just did. Hey, morning. He just did. In fact, this, uh, this girl in the pink just got nipped by the horse, which means 100% that Orion is still being a naughty nipper. We just need to wait for somebody to get close enough. Had to be the second I walked away, didn't it? But it kind of makes sense, actually, why. I did wonder why people were not going over so much. That's probably why. They might well have seen it. I'm not getting, I'm scared guys, I'm not even getting close. Look, he's definitely waiting for a victim, you can see it. However, he might not get the chance to feed on the tourist. Why? Because it's already 10 past the hour, which means that blues boxman, any moment we can expect him to come out. Now you will notice uh, after the massive number of questions about it, that the signs are back. Now, why were the signs not here on Monday? Let me tell you why. Sometimes after there's been... One second, hold on. Bro is in heaven here. Sometimes after there's been a long weekend with the guard here, things get overlooked. So, as we know, the Blues and Royals uh, were here over the weekend, long four day Easter weekend. Then the lifeguards arrived Monday morning. What happened when the lifeguards arrived on Monday morning? With a massive amount of kit, like a huge amount of kit, uh, the signs were overlooked. See, there we go, look. Happy that dude is her dad on the, uh, on the right. Actually, wait, he's not. Uh, bro. Okay, well, she's alright, that's the main thing. Yeah, so massive amount of kit, that is why it was overlooked, okay? Uh, a bit of giggling about that apparently but hey it is what it is it happens we will kind of 
try to capture through the box one of my favorite shots as you know and the gate at the same time but we'll set this end until the blues bring out the first horse id that horse then we'll go to the other end id the second blues horse that's my plan ladies and gents and i think actually even the minions word has gotten around in the school of minions that orion is on duty so they've very very smart and safely brought the minions, lined them up to pay tribute to Orion as the number one tourist slaying horse. Look, that's what you call respect right there. They're trying to get their relatives to come over, but Bro is a bit shy. He's like, nah. <laughs> You know what? I kind of uh, say I love it, but I, it's more that I admire it. When uh, when you see multi generational groups like that, okay, kids, parents, grandparents, I admire that. Uh, that's something that I will never be able to have uh, here because I don't have. Uh, living grandparents and going back actually thinking about it it would have been great to have a picture of at one point the four generations uh, that were alive simultaneously with my family but like an idiot time passes you think you've got forever and then you realize you haven't so I do think actually that whether it's here at the gates of Buckingham Palace under the Eiffel Tower in Venice doesn't really matter where it is Carpe diem, people. Yep, seize the day. Get pictures with your loved ones. Because even if the weather's a bit mushy, even if it's a bit grim, it doesn't matter. Why? Because when you look at that picture, you're not looking at the weather. You're looking at a moment in time that you're all together. And we know how fleeting those moments can often be, alas. So it's good to see people in a really, really, really mood this morning everyone seems very jolly it's an optimistic morning here at horse cards even i feel optimistic and i don't know why i should be depressed guys you know i'm actually gonna be spending some time in france shortly does it get any more depressing than that it doesn't frenchies i'm joking i'm joking i'm a francophile i promise i really love your country okay 100 percent he definitely wants someone doesn't he look you can tell he's getting ready licking his lips at least to be the right tasty tourist. Okay, this is the point where everybody gets told. Right, here we have our two new... Oh, hold on a moment. Hold the flipping press. Wait a minute. Ah, no, it's, uh, no, it's not. Oh, uh, wait, we'll look in a second. I'm not going to get excited yet. Can't quite see if that's all mom. I don't think it is. Oh, this kid's about to get in trouble. Oh, one horse does not want to work. First blues horse is about to quit. Look. Beautifully handled by the trooper. He just spun him around like he was... Uh, a full Mondeo. Corporal of Horse. I haven't seen him hit for about a month or so, actually. Off trot, the two beauties. Little nod to the boxman. Wow, it's almost like, uh, how do we say it, old times folks, no? Other horse is not in a good mood at all this morning, look at this. He's really not happy horse. Okay. For some reason he just doesn't want to settle down. The trooper, very, very experienced horseman, this trooper, got him into the box pretty much instantly. But now, it's just not in the mood. Oh, ladies, get ready for it. Blues and Rules heartbreaker. And he's number two. That was uh, that was a real bit of a moment there. He was not a happy horse at all. Like really not a happy horse. Which is, what can we say? 
not ideal. Right, let's have a quick look. Who are we looking at? One second, people. I don't think they're going to take the horse off, but he's not happy for some reason. It's a new one. That might explain why he's not in a good mood. This trooper, as we know, folks, uh, is a very, very, very experienced horseman. Okay, one of the most experienced in the blues. We've seen him here. He's been in a lot of situations, a couple of which will never be published, where there've been massive problems with uh, with the horse. Okay, talking like worse than you can even imagine. Hence, them not being published. If anyone can deal with it he can deal with it he is the uh, the male version of the famous lady trooper in terms of dealing with horses that are not happy the new beauty we're looking at is talisker folks now i say new new in the sense that i don't think i've ever seen this horse here before so i'm not sure if this is the, this horse's first day ever on king's guard ceremonial or whether the horse was away for some time and just came back i don't i've never seen this horse we've never heard of talisker and that name is 100% confirmed. I did briefly, because of the side view, think it was Ormond because of the blaze, but it's not. Anyway, there we are, guys. Take your uh, your shot. Talisca has very distinctive markings, okay? That enormous blaze. A little bit of uh, a marking under the lip. Force, well, actually, I mean, to be honest, it looks like they're almost stockings at the back. They are stockings, aren't they, equestrians? Two stockings at the back. Uh, one full sock at the front and one half sock at the front. So it's great to see this new horse actually. It's a shame that he's not a happy boy. I'm gonna get a little bit off center as well. I don't wanna freak him out. They're busy just changing over the Chitsman and Gatesman from lifeguards to blues in the yard. So we'll keep an eye on Talisker. I'll come back in a second. This ends relatively clear. Most people are in the yard. Let's have a look who we've got at the other end. This other big, beautiful boy that they've got with the other experienced trooper. Two of actually the longest serving blues boxmen I can remember we've got here right now. Both the chap we saw a second ago and this trooper, they've been here since before I started filming. If, uh, if Talisker has another meltdown, folks, I'll dash along. We've got a little bit more flexibility now simply because of the fact that most people are in the yard watching the, uh, the gates from being relieved. One second. Oh, this one's got a super interesting hoof number. Tipper. It is. Should have known that actually by a two, what, two, two things give away Tipper typically. One, that super fluffy forelock. Uh, and two, the very, very soft and gentle looking face. Look. Elegant beauty that is ticker, Tipper. Ticker? Tipper. Ticker. No, he's not a stock ticker, folks. He is uh, a H cab horse. A <laughs> ticker. Ah, it's starting to rain. Would you believe it's starting to rain? How unlucky is that? Let's hope it doesn't pour. Even if it rains, I'm prepared for it, so don't worry. But if it does rain, we're going to get a lot of people going into the arches, I can tell you that. Right now, you can't even get into the yard. Look, it is chocker, nook blocker. Yeah, talisker and, tip, and tipper. Interesting that um, they've got two tea horses. I'm trying to think, guys, which other horses do we have that begin with the T without me even looking at the list? It's a pity we haven't got any named Typhoon because, you know, we, we know there are lots of horses named after aircraft. However, there isn't, to the best of my knowledge, a horse named Typhoon. I don't recall that word being on the list. It's a long list, 200 odd names, but I'm pretty, pretty sure with like 95% certainty that there's no horse named Typhoon. Might have been in the past, but definitely isn't now. Tip is a big softy. So we won't have any problems with him, uh, other than the fact that he'll produce probably the most lovely pictures with his tourists, guests and visitors. So Talisker, I think, needs to be our focus, folks. So just because he's new, he's temperamental, he's a little bit, I think, wary of being in the box. Uh, and more importantly, he uh, seems to me might well kick off. Definitely seeming like that to me, to be honest. He's a real beauty, though. In fact, Thinking back, the horse that Talisker 
most looks like, and in fact could even be related to, in some way, is the late and much loved Indigo. Remember guys, the lifeguard horse Indigo. Real sort of uh, elegant beauty, statuesque, magnificent posture, like poise as well, when he holds his head up. Once this horsey gets used to the box, settles down, becomes chill, holds his head high and proud, as rightly he should, he will be an absolute magnificent addition to the front here. Yeah, it's Halisco. Love that name, actually. Very strong name. The box is a bit mushy on the ground. It might just be the fact that the second the gates were closed behind him, he was not in a good mood. Having a stupid tourist behind me going, yeah, heh, 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 mimicking horsey sounds probably doesn't really help the situation either. But there we are. I'm interested to see what happens when somebody gets super close for a picture because, for all we know, Talisker could be a massive nipper. Oh. <laughs> You, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. You, she didn't realise that her horse is there. Go back. <laughs> the look on their face when they first walked along and noticed that there was a horse just around the corner in the box. Brilliant. Honestly, she had absolutely no clear look. <laughs> she's like, dude, I can't believe it. And she's right. It is a shock. It's a proper shocker. I mean, you can just about, I guess, see his head poking out or the end of his nose. But... You know, if you're just a, a, an average tourist walking along the street, say that you're here, okay, you know, just do, going about your business, <laughs> you spot, okay, if, you, if you're really looking, you will spot that head bobbing out on the right, but most people obviously focused on the even more beautiful view in the distance. What am I talking about? That, and we all know which clock that is, don't we? Right, let's have a look. How is Talisker? Is he a nipper, everybody? That is the key question that we would like to answer this morning when he's on duty. Is he a cheeky little nipper or not? Or is he just nervous? We'll find out soon enough. Um, also, today is Wednesday, so it being busy already in the yard and at the front bodes well for later. It's 11.23. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, we've got a guard change at the palace this morning. Uh, and it will be a full guard change. It's a bit mushy here, teeny weeny bit wet, but, oh, Talis could just straight in the sign, but it will not be, it's not uh, raining properly. There will not be a wet mountain on the palace. It will be a full guard change, which means that there'll be massive crowds, all of whom will hopefully pop along to horse guards to pay homage to the new horse. He is magnificent. I'm not going to lie, folks. He really is a beauty. I'm saying he, I don't actually know, but I'm looking I can't actually see actually whether it's a, a gelding or a mare. It's a chilly morning though, so that would kind of explain that. What do we think? Would any of you like to take a guess, folks? I instinctively would think that uh, Talisker, he's the size of the horse, etc. I would be thinking a gelding. But there's no actual uh, physical proof at this point. Dadding away to himself. He's like, when I signed up, I was really hoping for Balford or Windsor. Now, I know that there aren't horses in Balford, but I hope they make an exception for me. Look, but here I am in London, and the weather's not great. You know? I wanted my London ceremonial, but I was really hoping it would start at the end of June in the sunshine. Can't blame horsey, can we, people? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Even if he's a bit nervous now, and he clearly is, he will uh, he will settle down. So, into the yard. We still haven't finished the guard change, guys. Uh, it's 25 minutes past now, uh, and that's interesting because it means we've still got the second half of the Blues and Royals to come through. Like you, we know which horse or horses, plural, we're waiting for. Now... I'm more optimistic about Ormond being here today than the weekend that's just finished, okay? 
looking at the troopers that are here already, and I don't even know who's at the back, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of experienced troopers, and they bought Tipper as well. Am I thinking Ormond will be here? It's, it's a good 50-50. This is the strongest chance we've had for a while of Ormond coming back. He's a favourite of that corporal of horse as well. So uh, if Ormond's on the schedule, in other words, if he's down at High Park Stables and not out uh, somewhere else like Melton, I think there's a good chance that we'll see him. Gatesman looking resplendent as ever. Uh, one of you, uh, you know who you are, kindly pointed out to me that in one of the videos you had seen some very naughty, in fact despicable, uh, tourists stealing from the guard shop. Okay? Apparently it was a group of, uh, of youngsters that were crowding around and helped themselves to a couple of the items on the right hand side. I will definitely be keeping a bit more of an eye on that, folks. Now, simply because that, uh, in my opinion, is bang out of order. Let's catch these lifeguard horses leaving, everybody. Here they are. Next up will be the blues coming this way through the tunnel. Any moment, actually. I'm not sure if the other corner is open or closed. I'm going to ask because it's a bit, a bit cushy shabby on this side. So, let me ask. Is it closed over there? Is it, is it closed over here? They're being much more. I noticed that on Monday though, you're, there are only four of you here, which I think is the least ever. Yeah, just not enough staff. Hey, I mean, we're all feeling a bit fat after our Easter eggs, aren't we? <laughs> to be fair. To be honest, that is a, a bit of a blind spot, isn't it? Yeah, it makes sense. Plus, if one person's there, everyone else is like, oh, why can't I go over there? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so uh, big bosses. Ministry of Defence Police big bosses folks uh, have said that they would prefer everyone be kept this side. Um, given the fact that it is ridiculously busy, as you can see already, um, and we're not even close to tourist season yet, that would make sense because otherwise they've got two sides. Let's find it normally. They've got two sides to worry about. And that side, this side. If everyone's on this side, they only need to keep their eyes focused in one direction. And if seven officers here are concerned with that blind spot, it makes perfect sense. They're the experts. <laughs> Good to see that they've actually put up these proper signs, though, now referring to uh, <laughs> to the museum. And the, the good news, everybody, is that if we uh, look at the, the two signs, zoom in a teeny bit, you can see on the sign that they're referring to the entrance. I'm thinking that's probably a different uh, point of access to the entrance. Now, hopefully the entrance will get fixed shortly, but it's good that the... The same person that proofread the sign on the wall is not the same person that uh, signed off on the posters. So someone's paying attention, which is good. Oh, little bro over there is doing his hair, look, in the, in the, mi in the mirror window. <laughs> I thought that was being no nosy. He's like, Mum, I told you not to, to uh, brush it this way. I prefer it the other way. Right, lifeguards are done, folks. They are literally right across. Look, on the other side of the prairie. Really far in the distance, look. Really far, wow. They're just about to cross over Horse Guards Road and go right. Meanwhile, da -da, da -da. is Ormond going to come through the tunnel? That is, that is the key question. Oh, actually, the officers are even asking everybody to stay behind the footpath. Wow, this is the furthest back people have been uh, told to stand that I remember. Okay, so Blues and Royals. Number one. Oh, wow, this second one's a new one. That is a beauty. Three. We've got one of the most all-star teams of blues I think we've ever seen here. Virtually every single person 
in the Blues and Worlds is a very well-known face. Goodness me. Ho, ho, ho. Only one of the entire two groups of troopers do I not know, which is very unusual. Normally it's a kind of a 50-50 split. So the fact there's only one, this corporal of horses assembled uh, the equivalent of an NBA all-star basketball team of troopers for these two days here at Horse Parks. Okay, let's head to the front, guys, before all the tourists come out. Please the holding open the gates. Got a very famous, very, very famous chitsman as well at the front. Very, very well known. We'll have a look at him shortly. I think Talisker, guys, I know I don't want to focus solely on this horse, but I really want to see what his, uh, his temperament and personality is like. Let's find out. Uh, the man is slowly beginning. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, that surprised her, didn't it? Mademoiselle uh, Greenberry got a bit surprised. Look at how many places they've got here, folks. Look, five at the front gate today. That is uh, it's more than we ever see ordinarily. If this troop looks a little bit wary of the horse, then we know he is uh, he's definitely thinking the horse might kick off. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Look, somebody has got their car's teddy. I'm just wondering actually, wait, we'll come back to Talisco. I think the reason most people are flooding to this end is they come out the gate, they think there's only one horse here, because visually Talisco is kind of obscured, whereas at this end, Tipper is very clear. Oh, we've got a nun, everybody, look. A nun paying her respects to Tipper. Okay, let's see how this ends up being. But right in front, we've got a good spot. The signs are up. The tourists are here. What will happen with Tibra? If the other trooper pulls, uh, pulls Talisker out of the box, I will focus on Talisker. No one's going to get super close, I don't think, while the trooper's keeping him so far back in the box. I'm really, really keen to know which horse that new one is. Absolutely unique markings. Oh! <laughs> Tip is washing her hair for free. That's the most unusual facial uh, markings on any horse that new blues horse um, than probably Pagan, the lifeguard horse. If they bring that horse out, I would definitely be able to ID it. Big if. There's no idea if that horse will appear in the box. That's the problem. Trooper's trying to bring Talisker out slowly, slowly, but every time he brings him out at the other end, the horse kind of like looks around behind him, bends his neck back. Oh, that's interesting. The uh, tall guy behind me is saying that horse, pointing into a tipper, is particularly well behaved. He's right. He was right. Wow, a tall guy that knows exactly what he's talking about in terms of even individual horses. That is impressive. Is tipper going to be a nipper today? I shouldn't be surprised if we see this horse biting anyone. He's so, so, so cute and passive. But he might still bite. I got about 10. We often see this trooper paired with, uh, with Tipper. I wonder if it's his favourite. They don't get to choose, folks. Uh, troopers do have, have their favourites. We know one very, very well, a very, very well uh, known trooper, who a lot of you will hope uh, wins the Elizabeth Cup, who was on Monty uh, during the Cup preparations. That's his favourite horse. 
uh, and we often see him on Monty, partly because he's a very big fellow. Talis goes off again, folks. He's really not having it. It might well be because it's raining, or it might just be because there are so many people here that he doesn't like this much, uh, this much attention. We see it many times, they're clopping about, etc., and then melt down and boom, they're off. I hope it doesn't happen this morning, especially when there are little kids here. I don't actually know what's going on, to be honest, guys. This is a weekday morning. It's raining. It's kind of grim. And yet it's packed. Every time he takes a step out, it goes back again. Okay, we've got a good spot right in front. We can see the entire horse, including hooves, etc., in the frame. No idea what she's trying to say to uh, the trooper who's busy trying to control his horse. <laughs> or she's trying to have a chat. I have no idea. I think she's trying to say, like, I, I know about horses or whatever, can I touch it? It's not just that. This horse this morning is a new one. This horse has not been out here this year, so he's not in a good mood at all. recognize the lady on the left but I can't remember where I recognize her from people need to be careful actually he's really not happy okay we're in front anyway I'm gonna stay here for a little bit guys and see what happens oh, hopefully might nip this photographer guy this is the new one. Yeah, yeah. Where do we know her from, folks? Where do we know this lady from on the left? I'm pretty sure she's been in the famous video. I don't know why. Or which video. <laughs> He's going to complain to the police that the trooper didn't, didn't reply. No, surely not. She's like, I want to lodge a formal complaint against that King's Guard because he didn't reply to me. to the trooper can I touch him and the trooper nodded I hope you saw that and she said thanks well there we are guys our work is done we found the equivalent of a gold nugget a tourist that said thanks uh oh yeah just hold your kids to the horse's mouth <laughs> a horse that's clearly not happy the trooper pulls him back again I hope the horse doesn't mistake this kid's head for a cabbage. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on with this. 
Trooper's sighing. I can't say I blame him. We've seen her before, guys. I'm telling you, 100%. I think they're, they're twins. There's, there's another a lady that she's always with, either a best friend or twins, and sometimes they come here um, and, and stroke the horse for 20, 30 minutes. Notice the tourists on the left are uh, kind of hoping to get a picture, ideally, uh, this spring and not next. <laughs> the the camera. <laughs> she was like, oh, flipping hell, mate. In fact, some people have got some very curious, um, almost luminous umbrellas. No idea whether that would be a problem for the horse. Look at this. I mean, it's not actually raining at the moment, so I'm not sure why you need it, but I said that isn't going to be a problem. Oh, you didn't. All right. New one this morning. This new horse. I've never, never seen this one. Uh, and not, not a happy boy. At least not at the moment. Uh, I mean, I haven't, I've never seen this one before, so this would have been here last year. Probably came down from Melton last week, I would think. Either that would have been hiding him away at Hyde Park. Busy, no? That's busy, like good. That isn't one for me, so it's going to change Friday. Ah, is there not? Wait, what's, what's happening Friday? Why am I dead? I'm dead. What, so you mean they're not changing over? Then there's, 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 there's no ceremony. Hold on, wait, so... It's admin now only. Ah, wait, hold on, you mean at the palace? Ah, okay. I was thinking here. I was thinking, hold on a second. Here will be normal. Admin Mount the Palace. There's no guard, there's no ceremony or music or something. There's something interesting happening in the calendar. Wow. It's split between today and Monday. Yeah? Are they happy about that or not? Some will like Some will like come Friday anyway. I mean, to be honest, there's a very good chance they're going to get better weather anyway on Friday than this. I mean, this this is tolerable, but it's not great, is it? You know, it's, it's such potluck with some of these groups that come to London. I think, um, and there's some community about Monday as well. Sure. Monday, one side, one. So the, the, uh, the House of Cavalry site said, the House of Division site says there is a guard change. Yeah. Palace site said there isn't. I, I definitely tend so, to think like, the Palace site is more uh, more accurate. The other one tends to be a little bit behind. I mean, they were supposed to be in, back in uh, summer order on Monday, but they're not. I mean, it, okay, it is a little bit chilly, but it's not actively cold. I mean, there could be some order, I think, but no one knows when that's going to happen. Hopefully, next week or two. I'll see you shortly, yeah? Okay, I mean, there's bringing luggage here, and then there's like bringing your entire loft, attic, garage, man cave, and just park it on the street. Look at it all. <laughs> okay, so we know he's a curious horse, but he's not a nipper, which. For the moment, I guess it's good news. Probably. Also keen to see what's going to be happening in terms of rounds. We've seen no gatesmen yet, folks at the front uh, or in the tunnel. That was the bell. I'm not seeing him, still no gatesmen. I don't know what this horse is really like until the troop manages to uh, coax him out of the box. Looking along at Tipper, who's pretty much entirely on the on, on the street, on the cobbles, like Monty always. And uh, which other ones that like to stand on the cobbles? Monty, for sure, is probably the, the most famous cobble uh, cobble strider. Uh, in fact, that's going to be our new term for some of the horses: the cobble striders uh, and box dwellers. I'll 
I'll show you the uh, the chitsman in a minute, folks. A lot of you will have missed him. Guarantee you that. Okay. Brief break. Let's pop into the yard. Where's where is our friend? I, I worry when he's not here because really. Right, let's hope he's all right. I'll message him. Yeah, familiar face is not around today, guys, which is uh, a little bit unusual for him not to be here. He's, uh, he's very out of the ordinary. Anyway, our uh, our chitsman, this is what I was talking about, ladies. He's such a handsome fellow that this little dude is enamored. Look, this kid is frozen on the spot. He's like, oh my God, I want to do that when I get older. family day out. Anyway, that's our kids moment, folks. It's been a while. And how perfectly presented is the uniform? I mean, it's flawless, am I right? So flawless, it makes one wonder, how the hell is he not on the horse? Is what I'm thinking. Oh, this gent just asked if he can get a picture. It's very thoughtful. curious types this little dude is absolutely enamored honestly look he can't get enough of watching the, the trooper although actually wait that's it hold on a second I don't even know where his parents are wait me joking about it I'm not even sure who this kid is with one second folks let me just have a let's make sure he's not lost his, his family He's like wandering about, happy to film him because he's not looking at the camera. Let's make sure that he hasn't lost his mum and dad. Nope. All good. He's fine. He's safe. He was, he was really, really admiring the trooper. Brilliant. Now it's the turn of Mr. Waitrose uh, on the right. He's like, hmm, yes, well, I'd love to join, but I think the moment has passed. And he might be right. Folks, we are not terribly far off, actually. Hold on, why are the police looking? Oh, did somebody walk in? Something happened over here. I don't know what happened over here, but something happened. There were no shouts. And the little dude is back, look. I'm wondering if uh, so if I'm trying to listen I can't really hear it ah. unusual though to see uh, see an officer actually in the arches with the trooper Didn't take long, did it? It was inevitable that uh, that one tourist had to get a picture, and that would actually, to be honest, everybody, that's a very unique photo op that people have got here. Armed officer in the arches with the trooper. heard my speculation guys what do we think it's about what do we think has happened it's a 
tour guide there, chatting to her group on, on the right. Oh, that's a proper noise, that clip. Ah, uh, it's the new horses in the stable area. And in fact, Talisker, folks, is not a happy boy. One minute. One minute he's kind of all right, he's chill, but again, I think, yeah, I'd, I'd be very surprised if he comes back out, to be honest. Very surprised. I think they'll take him off now, in the moment, when the, when the change happens, and he won't be out today. I hope I'm wrong, because he's a beauty, and it'll be a real shame if he doesn't settle down uh, and doesn't want to be on sentry duty in the box. Don't forget, the horses are also officially troopers, folks, just like the troopers themselves. HCAV horses hold the rank of trooper. Drum horses hold the rank of major. Look, he's almost turned around in the box. Especially now those back doors are open, there's not really much uh, to keep him in there. I just know he'll probably dart out the back now, now I'm at the front. Please of preparing everybody for the changeover. Really, really tough to know which is the better option, folks. I have to be honest with you. He's not at all a happy boy, though. I mean, really not. I think what I'll do, man, is look at a little bit of time. We've still got roughly about eight or nine minutes until they're going to change over. Key thing is whether he's going to last eight or nine minutes. I wouldn't like to call it, to be honest. Look, he's looking behind his, behind his uh, shoulder longingly. I'm thinking the police have received some specific intel. That would explain why there were so many this morning, why half the yard was effectively closed, uh, and why we just saw the long conversation with the trooper. Let's hope that... Uh, Everyone's going to stay safe today. Especially with crowds like this. Look, around Tipper. I mean, it's actually a good thing that Tipper's getting all the attention. One, because he never gets flustered. Two, he's super chill. Three, he never bites anyone. And, arguably more importantly, uh, we haven't yet uh, ever seen anything go wrong in any respect with him not just in terms of buying toys but in terms of having a meltdown decide he doesn't want to work never he is the most chill horse out of the two regiments it's a new one the show this, yeah this is why he's not happy today Sorry folks, I'm trying to avoid people, uh, people's heads in the frame. Okay, zoom us back out. About 50 hands on uh, Tiver, but he couldn't, he really couldn't care less. The only thing that concerns is when the, he, this horse, Talisker, hears the uh, clippy clop of his friends coming out of the stables. I think it's at that point he's going to uh, he's going to seize the moment, make his escape. Again, a response. The troopers are allowed to talk, folks. There is a big misconception about that. They are allowed. There's no specific rule that says you can't talk when you're on duty. Okay. The thing is, if, for example, they decided that they were going to respond to anyone and everyone, they'd effectively become tour guides, which they're most certainly not. So they're very selective uh, in replying to people. It will depend on what they're asked, why they're asked it, and uh, I've noticed quite often whether or not it, uh, it involves a kid being near the horse. For example, is it okay to pat the horse with, with your kid, blah, 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 blah. 
But uh, yeah, single people that ask personal questions and stuff are completely ignored. And, in my opinion, rightly so. It's going to be a very busy one for the changeover. Just we're about to, uh, to change. It's about four or five minutes. Uh, I will run back to be in front of Talisker. This what Tip has had pretty much consistently the whole morning. And there hasn't been a single moment <laughs> thus far where he's been anything other than perfectly behaved. Big difference having the signs up actually. <laughs> Even tourists getting back, look at their pictures and realizing there are no signs for a bit like no. Plus, so I've always wondered actually what would happen if there is an accident here and God forbid a bad one and the signs are not uh -huh, they're not visible. I mean they're here for a reason. Uh, I dare say MOD lawyers have been all over it. The signs effectively act as uh, as a get out of jail free card should anything go wrong. In other words, you've been pre warned, so strictly speaking. Uh, you enter an implied contract that if, if something does go wrong, it's your own fault. I told you, I knew it was going to happen, didn't I, with Talisker? I told you, folks. And he's off, look. Absolutely knew it. It was pretty much guaranteed that was going to happen. And the problem is, they've got, look, I'm going to keep it zoomed in a little bit. He's, oh my God, oh my goodness me. If he kicks, why the hell are those tourists not getting out of the way? Look at them all. Completely uh, jammed. Wow, that is crazy. I'm genuinely shocked actually, look at this. Sorry guys for this very slightly dodgy filming. Yeah, the second I walked away, he had his little meltdown. It was pretty much inevitable. Go back to the front. Can I go back out onto the front? Yeah, Talis has definitely had it, guys. Had to be the second I walked away, didn't it? But never mind. We're back. It's bad to be with you, yeah? You can't sit If God forbid he kicked folks in that corner, Really, generally surprised that the uh, tourists won't move out of the way from that corner. Yep, he's done. Take him in. Makes sense. The corner look is absolutely solid. See who they bring out to replace him. Of course, this is the ready people. 
So only one horse back in. Now people, I don't need to introduce a horse that we have in front of us, uh, because a lot of you will know him. Oh yes, King O is back, and I'll be back in a second for part two of this end with our favourite horse. Right back guys.